What's up guys? Hounds down here with the uh, Hawk 250 today. Out here in glorious Pennsylvania. Just going to uh, take a nice little ride today. It's about an hour 20 minutes. We're heading to Black Machannon State Park. And uh, you know, gonna get it in, break it in. I only got like 40 miles on this thing, something like that. So I'm trying to, you know, try to get it broken in a little bit, gently, gently. So we're taking all back roads out here in scenic Pennsylvania. And um, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. So stay tuned for the ride. <clears throat> two thirty-three. We'll get into there by two thirty-three. Okay. She's yelling in my ear, telling us to, to shit and get. Are you ready? <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, here we go. Come on, don't be silly. Just talked you up here a second ago. And 400 feet, she says, turn right. Okay, let's go. Let's go enjoy the day. Of brake pressure. Make sure no one's coming. All right, down the road we go. Whew. Feels good to get some uh, some air. It's hot. Like I said, it's pushing 90 degrees today. Kind of miserable out. Need a little bit of heat. For sure. Just my mirrors. Probably should do that when you're driving. <laughs> but it's no good if you can't see. So, yeah, here we are. Beautiful Pennsylvania. I'm gonna head out to Black Machine. Got the wife behind me. Should be fun. Should be a good time. So we got about an hour drive or so. It'll take a little bit to get there. But it'll be a good time. I've never taken this route on the bike. It's my longest, longest trip on a bike. Um, the most I've done, honestly, is like 15 minutes, maybe. So today's an hour and 20 minutes away from home. I've driven this road many times in the car, but we all know that riding the bike's a different ball game. So we're gonna try to be safe about it and uh, pay attention and take your time. It's the nice thing about riding a motorcycle in the back roads, um, especially on a bike like this, is you don't have a lot of traffic and you can enjoy the scenery without having to get out of your comfort zone when riding a bike. And this is what I've come to, to come to learn um, by riding a bike. And this is actually, this is what I enjoy. I didn't buy a bike to get on the highway and, you know, do 70, 80 miles an hour. That's not my thing. Um, I got on it to enjoy this beautiful scenery. You know, have an adventure. That's what we call it, Hound Sound Adventures. Right? See things in a different perspective. It is beautiful though, I mean. It is absolutely stunning out here. A little 
looks like getting up this hill here. Hey, if there's anybody, uh, you know, from Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania, I live in the, uh, just outside Lock Haven area. Anybody else wanting to ride? Uh, hit me up, you know, if you know some trails. You know, that's something I'm still kind of learning. Is the trails here. You know, it's really not driving that makes anybody nervous, and me nervous anyway. It's really other people. It is other people. I didn't snap my D-ring in. Probably shouldn't have been in a rush to get on there. I stop over here shortly and fix that. Sure, I want to be safe. Yeah, I mean, doing these. Doing these YouTube videos, and this being my first video, maybe my second, debating if I put on the other bike first. Um, hey, look, it's a big rock. Everybody likes to spray paint. <laughs> it's a shame, but it's kind of cool. Um, but it's nice to to have somebody to talk to, I guess, while you're on these rides, I and mean, it's nice to kind of tune everybody out and be quiet or whatever. But it is nice to. To be able to, you know, talk to an audience, so to speak, while you're riding, kind of, kind of peaceful. The only thing I wish they did with these bikes is probably a counterbalance motor. Just take out some of the vibration. You do a good. Maybe a good hour or so on this, your ass will be numb. But that's the fun of it, I guess, right? Gotta watch out for elk out here too, deer. She's windy. It's a windy day. Woo! <laughs> She's pushing you for sure. She's pushing. That wind is rough. Just pushing me around. Two rock runs, scenic view. Huh, I'll check that one out too. Maybe we can check that on the way back. I filled this tank up uh, when I first got it. And well, it wasn't completely, completely full. Let me just rephrase that, but 46 miles so far. I only think I moved one, one mark, maybe. I got another 40 miles to go. So if we actually get like 80 miles a gallon, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be curious. Woo-hoo-hoo! I had a big turkey right there. 
the shit out of me. <laughs> Woo, yeah, yeah. That's big turkey. Bam, bam, tinka, bam, bam, bam. Had to make a quick stop. Do the old uh, get a let it on out, you know. You gotta do the PP dance. It's tough to do the PP dance when you're riding the bike. I mean, kinda. I mean, you know, you know how it is. Anyways, we are pretty much in Black Mo Shannon. We're just on the back way in. And uh, stupid, stupid gloves. Stupid. All right, here we go. Let's get into this black mount here and check out the pretty scenery. All right, almost there. I had to, it's a little bit more of a dirt road back here at Black Sand and the, the back way in. And uh, it's a little warm again, so I pop the visor open. Hopefully the old people hear me okay. But uh, yeah. Also, new riders, if you're watching this video, I have been watching Dan the Fireman, or Dan the Man, Dan the Fireman. Check him out on YouTube, man. He's got a, I don't recall what it is now, I have it saved in my, my playlist on YouTube, but he goes over motorcycle safety. Um, what to do, what not to do. He actually takes some accidents and stuff, and you know, stuff that we really don't, some of us don't want to care to watch, but kind of figures out, you know, what could we have done differently? And it really does open your mind um, to, uh, to be safe. Um, he's also got, you know, how to be aware of your surroundings and what to pay attention to. It's, it's really good. It's honestly, it's, 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 a, it's crazy that he doesn't charge, you know. I'm sure he does. Maybe they have a class or something. Um, but first, you know, anything from first aid to um, just riding principles, how to make, you know, from the very basics all the way up. We've got all kinds of, all kinds of good training on there, so definitely check him out. Uh, I'll see if I get a link in the description. Hey, look, the bison.
this guy, a screen for this guy, a screen for this guy, a screen. Whoo! Excuse me, ma'am. Do you want some ice cream? Well, we couldn't get ice cream because they only take cash. Could have sworn there was an ATM up in this old store here somewhere, somewhere up here, but there's not. And we don't carry a bunch of cash. So, ice cream has to wait. <coughs> so what we're gonna do is do a little bit of fishing. What's going on here? Jacket, oh, I see. Anyways, what we're gonna do is do a little bit of fishing and then go get something to eat and then drive home. So let's check out the park a little bit. Okay. Put the key in. Keys in. Get my shit together. Right, Black Machine and it is popping today. Absolutely popping today. There's so many people here. It's pretty common. Everybody's got freaking cabin fever. There's the beach. Oh. Right. So we're gonna go this way. Make sure everybody's paying attention to us. Here. Boy, everybody's here to swim. Turn that off. I ended up putting my phone in my back pocket. <sighs> Instead of in the holder. This is like some cheap Amazon holder. It works good too. Wasn't sure about it at first, but honestly. Works pretty good. Could do some fishing, see if we catch anything. It's hotter than hell over here though. Super hot. Huh. Probably not gonna catch much of anything. There's a lot of sun over here. And then it's 90 degrees out. It's a little on the warm side. Do you wanna walk over to the other side? Yeah, right there. But do you want to go to a different, do you want to go to, like, or they're going to be on the shade if you're on this side of the, the lake. Okay. Yeah, we can go to go back the back way, up, up, like where we went, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No. The bog trail, you want to head up toward the bog trail? Sure. Okay. I did a bit of a similar there. Yeah, yeah. Need a new battery. This battery's junk, just a heads up. The Hawk 250 battery, the battery that comes stock with it, it is trash. It doesn't hold a charge very well. Put it on the charger to avoid since I uh, bought the bike. 
twice. Twist, twist. Should probably get this phone out of my back pocket. Twice is nice. There we go. Little bit on the warm side. She was standing there when we came back through. She's just staring at it. Would you just look at it? Just look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> just look at that. Give me a like if you know what that is. Would you just look at it? <sighs> yeah, that thing's pretty cool. Is that a can am? I don't know what that is now. Spider? I don't know. Ducati. Try to be polite, not make noise. These bikes are pretty quiet. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, the food smells good. I'm hungry. <laughs> mm. This is my favorite place in the world, man. I know I said that once and I'll say it again, but for real. Beautiful. Beautiful place. Hey, buddy. There we go. Oh, so much cooler over here. How's the pier? Pier's good. What is going on now? All these cabins. We almost, we were talking I wanted to buy one of these places just to be out here all the time, just to live here. I would have totally done it. We could have found a place. I think it was like right after we bought our house. There was a couple of spots up here for sale. Go figure. But what's meant to be is meant to be. I'm happy where I'm at. Ooh, that's nice though. <laughs> Ooh, so is that. Uh, we're not really getting away from, eh, we're getting away from people. We're in the shade a little bit up here. A little bit cooler up here too. made it some good bass in here some chain pickerel there's all kinds of fish up here <clears throat> bacow, bacow. so they call this is why they call it black machannon because the water is black looks like tea pretty cool let's see if we can catch some catch a few fish does it seem like a good spot the pier looked a little bit like, huh? Yeah, like there's a lot of bunch of people up there. Oh. I picked you a pretty <laughs> posy. Uh huh. You're welcome. I don't really need this. My license is just in. Oh, I'll just carry it. We need the bait. We need the bait, love. Mm. This looks like a good spot. We'll just do this. We'll just set up right here. Goose poop, it's everywhere. Yeah, I should probably get some sunscreen. Pasty, where's my drink at by chance? Did you happen to have it? Yeah. SPF 50. 
We're gonna do this old fashioned. We're gonna do it with some night crawlers. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way to fish. I think, uh. And extenders. Yeah. yeah. We're definitely gonna keep it, keep it old school. That's right. Cool. Night crawlers. Huh? That's true. All right, let me put this bait on here and chuck this baby in the water. And then I'll allow to use some sunscreen. Meow. Well, yes, ma'am. Yes, I will. I'll love you down with some sunscreen. Let's see if we catch anything. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. Come here. He's too fishy. It's probably too hot. They're probably not going to bite. Great for keeping fish. Pain in the ass to fish in. Boop. Here we go. <sighs> Did I see that? A little skills. What are you gonna do about it? Just bring me the sunscreen and your. <laughs> Got it. It was a test. You passed. Come here, you fair-skinned woman. This reel's jacked up. Hey guys, this is Hound. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us on our adventure today on the Hawk 250. If you'd like to purchase one of these bikes, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can pick one of these up. Also, head over to Moto Cheese on YouTube and MotoCheese.com to check out the review he's done on the Hawk 250 and on his website where you can get some cool mods for the Hawk 250 as well. And don't forget to check out Dan Dan the Fireman, also for motorcycle safety. Stay tuned for new content. Uh -huh.